Waves of political ads are already hitting your television and social media feeds. News 4 is fact-checking the ads you see here on KMOV. Tonight we have a new response to our investigation into an ad backed by a political group working to keep Missouri Governor Mike Parson in office. I've served on the force for 24 years. It's true that Rob Dean is a current St. Louis County police officer. He's been with the department as a canine officer since 2006. He's also listed as a vice president in the county's fraternal order of police. According to the department, Dean's presence in the ad is not a violation of department policies, but his views do not represent those of the agency. Governor Parson is fighting hard to protect your family and put violent repeat offenders behind bars. As it shows on the screen, Parson did call a special session on violent crime this year, but Parson did not call a special session on violent crime last year when the number of homicides in St. Louis in 2019 rose to the second highest levels of the decade. But wasn't this in front of you last year? No, I'm not. You mean last summer? Last summer, so, last yeah, year. I'm, I'm, I'm not for sure whether it was or not. I don't know. They could have. And he did sign into law a bill that would add prison time to the sentences of repeat violent offenders for crimes like murder, illegally possessing a firearm, and armed criminal action. But to clarify, that bill was signed into law three weeks before the special session started. And Nicole Galloway, her campaign has been funded by left-wing extremists who wants to defund our police. These radicals are emboldening criminals, and Galloway has been silent while they're doing it. To be clear, none of that video is from Missouri. You can clearly see a New York Police Department car in one video and the defund the police sign that's from Washington, D.C. As for the campaign funding claim, her campaign has been funded by left-wing extremists. In her campaign's latest filings with the Missouri Ethics Commission, News 4 could find no one connected to any extremist group. And in fact, a large number of her contributions came in small dollar donations, many in just amounts of five to ten dollars. So that claim is false. Nicole Galloway is liberal on crime. As to that claim, Galloway's campaign spokesperson stated Auditor Galloway has worked with law enforcement to obtain 63 criminal counts against corrupt public officials, both Democrats and Republicans. She's worked closely with prosecutors, sheriffs, and Highway Patrol and the FBI to do it. The group behind the ad, Uniting Missouri, is a political action committee funded to help elect Mike Parson. Last month, it was fined by the Missouri Ethics Commission for failing to disclose flights it paid for for trips Parson took to D.C. and Florida. And that was our Corey Stark reporting. Now, tonight we do have a response from Uniting Missouri. The group gave news for the reasons it stands behind two claims in the ad. The first one, which says Galloway's campaign has been funded by left-wing extremists. While Uniting Missouri says the group Indivisible is a national leader in the defund the police movement, Indivisible has been soliciting campaign contributions for Galloway's campaign since last year, and Galloway was recently a featured speaker at one of their events. Now, the Political Action Committee spokesperson also wrote this to back up the claim in the ad that Nicole Galloway is liberal on crime, writing, quote, by backing Cori Bush, Galloway is endorsing the most extreme anti-law enforcement agenda in Missouri history. Cori Bush has said she supports defunding the police. Yesterday, News 4 asked Galloway where she stands on the issue. I don't support defunding the police. I do not believe in violence. I think that we need to be tough on violence and use the resources at the state level to help protect our communities. Now, we will be looking at the ads running against Mike Parson in the coming weeks. If you have an ad you want us to fact check, you can email us at investigates at KMOV.com.